Hello everyone! Hello! Today we have like no review or no trying out things. Today we have something to show because we went shopping yes, again. Yes, we went shopping again. We went back to TD because last time we went there, I mean, we ended up with pretty interesting items. Yeah. Um, I mean, TD, if you do not know if your country doesn't have one, is basically something akin to uh, a one euro store. Even though most things they have do cost more than one euro, but um, you know, they have very cheap things, oftentimes qualitatively questionable. But sometimes you are getting lucky, and especially the art supplies can be a little bit of a mixed bag, but also uh, very surprisingly nice. Our first item. Our first item. Looks very sus. I don't think it's going to be good because. We got watercolor paint for two whole for euro. Two euro, wow! And I think yeah, twenty-eight colors and one really crappy paintbrush. Well, the paintbrush itself—it looks like the one we had in our other video, like a few weeks ago. Yeah. So this is made by Kids Line, which I think is TD's in-house thing. I don't know. Uh, they are probably just like ex um, not exporting; they're importing these. Probably it says somewhere where it's made. Um, made in China, I presume. Everything is made in China these I'm, days. I'm, yeah, I'm that does not have to be bad. It actually. Helga stellt in China. Yeah, see, made in China. <laughs> okay. So, um, this has been imported. <laughs> it looks like an item we've seen uh, on Amazon at some point. Yeah, it's like the Amazon basic paint and oh my goodness, this feels so cheap and horrible. It looks horrible. If the if the light hits the the black paint, it's like, I don't know, it's like crumbly. It looks like there's things in it. It looks like there's like little indents, uh, I don't know, little insects that flew into it before they... Oh my gosh, this, oh, is, Jesus. this is horrible. Sorry, I was painting earlier. But look at that brush. Oh. That is horrendous. But that haircut is worse than one. Wow. Okay. Oh, that feels... Oh, okay. Now that, that's calling for a separate video. I'm, I'm looking forward to trying these. Oh my goodness, yeah. That calls for a separate video because... Looking at this plastic, I think it's just going to snap. Just the looking at it. Plastic, I mean... Um, oh my... Flex God. test. This is like Jerry Rig everything. <laughs> yeah, this is not good. This is the cheapest of the cheapest, but then it was two euros, so it, it was very cheap. Yeah. And we kind of knew what we were getting ourselves into here. It just looked too interesting to pass up on. So to go with the watercolor paint, what we got we have? a watercolor pad. A by watercolor pad. Einhorn. Which uh, seems to be also their in-house uh, import brand thing. However, it feels nice. Um, the paper quality, or the paper thickness rather, is nice. It's like very sturdy. Um, I have higher hopes for this than for that. <laughs> no, those paints are not good. So, next we have is this. This is not their in-house brand. This is made by a company called Claire Fontaine. Um, we do have several other products of them, two sketchbooks, another mixed media pad, and they generally are Absolutely two thumbs up. Absolutely thumbs up. These are great products. They're also not the cheapest, not the most expensive either. They are like somewhere in the middle ground, like around the eight, nine, ten euro mark. Yeah. Um, we like them very much, and this was like they sell them at a slightly reduced price, six euro. I think normally they are like uh, I don't know, two, three, four euro more expensive when they charge you uh, for these normally. So this was something we just had to take because it was like too nice. I assume they are like from some kind of um, um, damaged delivery truck or something. Something fell off and they are just reselling these now for a slightly discount. Possibly, yeah. But yeah, this is um, absolutely nice. So, we have this here. Ooh. This is by Primo, and Primo. this is not watercolor. Well, I mean, it is like watercolor, but it's deck farben. 
Deck farben is, to my understanding, again, I'm not the specialist, but um, it's kind of like watercolors, but it's slightly more opaque. If you remember our well and often liked Pelican uh, deck farb custom video, it should be something akin to this. Yeah. You give this to children in school normally here um, to teach them like a little bit of color theory. Um, they can just mess around with it a little bit because they are generally nice to work with. Um, you can blend these also nicely. You can mix these. So we are quite curious how they hold up against the big competition from Pelican. Yes. Okay, I'm unable to open it because it's sealed with one of these ah, stickers. It's and childproof. You literally need a knife to open it. But underneath here, there is uh, what they call a deck vice tube, which is basically yes. a tube of white paint, which always comes with these deck fab casts and Yes, because, because you need it really to uh, mix the shades and uh, lighten things up a little, a little bit. More. Yeah, so at some point we will be trying these up against the Pelican paints and see... Yes. how they hold up against each other okay and uh, what else do we have we have a last item yeah this is our last item and i think it's the most interesting here in the bunch. yes this is stadler acrylic paints i didn't even know they made acrylic paints so i'm pretty excited about that just making some space here because i want to try something i have not tried these so there's no swatches or anything we literally just got them you can see it's like still sealed and everything. It's still sealed and everything and thankfully easy to open. You can see they are like a little dented. Um, yeah, these here are very dented. All of them in the um, hangy thingy on the shelf, they were all dented. So, I am curious. Oh, I know what you want to try. So a while ago we showed off these creative artist paints that we are not happy with. Which has a bunch of 12 mil tubes. Bunch of 12 mil tubes. And oh god, we do have a bunch of 12 mil tubes here. Oh, thank goodness. And they work. Kinda. Kinda. Do they? I think so. Mm. The, well, the, these ones don't even lie flat. So, ha, nice. I think I've got a much better kit. Just have to try the paints, but I assume they'll be miles better than these. They probably are. I mean, Stettler does normally uh, nice things. Not the, also, again, not the highest quality. It's more like school grade stuff, but um, normally you can't really go wrong with them. Nice. Look at that. Okay, the caps are a bit fat, but... Well, I mean, they stay in there. They and, stay in. And uh, you, you close the lid anyway. Yep. And there we go. Nice. So yeah, we actually <laughs> modded our old not so great, a bit disappointing kit. Absolutely. I'm so happy now. I've got a nice kit that I can just grab off my desk and use that actually has decent paint in it, I think. Awesome. <laughs> Knock on wood. <laughs> Knock on wood. So yeah, I think that's our lot for today. I think so too. I think these are going to be a nightmare, by the way. Oh God, we, we must make a video. <laughs> Definitely. So yeah, that's it for today. So yeah, thank you for watching our little blurb. And uh, if you have anything or do you know of anything that we should try, please make sure to uh, leave it in the comments. Please make sure to leave a like if you uh, actually enjoyed what you saw. And... Uh, have a nice week. Bye. Goodbye.